My name is Malika Gazula. I'm joined with Kenny Murphy. And we're from FBI Radio 94.5 here with Tom and Will from Heartbreak High. I'm joined right now by Asher and Josh from Heartbreak High, a new series, um, coming of age drama exploring Australian youth culture, friendship, and sexuality. How are you guys doing this morning? Great. Good, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, have you guys seen the original series? I love it. Yeah. I think mm. it's amazing. I think it was such a. Uh, unique thing for its time yeah. um and i just love all of the fashion and the 90s vibes that come along with it and do you feel like the sorry and do you feel like the um the essence of the original is kind of captured in this new version yeah definitely i mean i think this is like certainly a reimagining for our generation and for our time but I think the legacy that was so important and so groundbreaking for the original show was how innovative it was and mm -hmm. how it broke new ground and you know represented characters that we'd never seen before and you know told stories that we'd never told before and this show definitely does that as well you know I think um, we definitely hold true to the spirit of that I think. I think yeah it's definitely got the original Heartbreak High energy but then it's mm. got yeah all of the I guess tones and themes of our generations. Yeah, brilliant. And it's obviously a real like contemporary kind of take on Aussie youth culture. And in what ways do you feel like you personally kind of relate to some of the characters, maybe your own characters or some of the plot lines and um, moments in the series? You know, for me to be able to watch a young Indigenous man kind of in that character is a pretty special thing. And to watch kind of that aspect of our multiculturalism of Australia on one spectrum is lovely, but then to actually see a pretty true, genuine representation of, you know, what it is to be an Australian these days um, across the whole series is nice. Well, we have a lot of real life experience um, put into it. Um, for example, Chloe, who um, plays Quinny, she's neurodivergent and she, um, you know, I really had a voice in the process of Quinny, and I think that was like really amazing to watch. Um, and it's something that's going to be really new for Australian television, which is really cool. And there was, you know, heaps of um, queer characters and and different types of representation and different types of cultural representation. There's just a lot going on, but it's really real because that's you know the world we live in. I'd like to know. Okay, so the creators said that they wanted this, um, these characters to be kind of aspirational to mm. this new generation, whilst also being like, you know, flawed and yeah. real. Mm. I'd love to know what you think is aspirational about your characters specifically. Malachi goes through quite a bit throughout the se series and not to give anything away, but he's kind of, for me, he's constantly a bit between what's the right thing to do and what decision to make. And he makes mistakes along the way. He does good things. He, you know, makes friends. There's relationships, everything, you know, that comes with being a teenager. But at the heart of it, I do feel like he is this young man really trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. And I think it's, it's a good thing for young men, particularly in Malachi's case, to see that as an option and as a role model, I guess. But also to go that you're not always going to get it right and that's okay, mm. but that shouldn't be the be all and end all and you shouldn't then self-deteriorate and destruct or go a complete opposite way, you know. It is about figuring it out and that kind of time of your life is important to focus in on that and try and do the right thing. With Dusty, I think a lot of the time, I guess the cooler character has usually got everything together and he seems really like, I don't know, well thought out and in control, whereas Dusty, um, I think it, especially for a lot of like younger guys growing up, you can kind of see him kind of shopping for a personality and he's trying to figure out mm. what he wants to be on, and who he wants to be. So I think um, he kind of represents that for a lot of people growing up. Like you, you, like no one really knows who they are or what they want to be, especially when you're in high school. So mm. I think that is a nice new, I guess, new way of showing someone trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You know, bringing a lot of identities to the forefront that have for a really long time been kind of hidden away from screen. What do you kind of hope that audiences will take away from this show and who is this show for? We've kind of been able to bring together a lot of stories that all resonate with each other and connect but are offering audiences really different and detailed, um, you know, stories hopefully. and. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think there's really something for everybody in this show, and this show is meant for 
the whole country, everyone in Australia. Um, and I think that's really, really important because a lot of these characters, we've never seen them properly represented. I think that, you know, I, I really do think that makes the show for everybody. There's mm -hmm. something for everyone in this show. And yeah, I just hope people um, love it as much as, as much as we loved making it. I think everyone, truly, I think everyone is going to find something of themselves in, in the show. Um, which is what made it really beautiful to be a part of for me. Yeah, I think you nailed that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are so Thank you. Okay.